In this video, I will show you on how you can use Python to do camera calibration. So basically, I will use the Anaconda Navigator based on the Anaconda platform. And also, apart from that, I will use uh, the Spider as the IDE to do the programming. So basically, before that, you can uh, find the camera calibration code from this link. So you can uh, Google for the Python camera calibration uh, coding. So this is basically based on the OpenCV. So if you scroll down, you can get the code and then uh, put the code inside of your Anaconda environment. So first thing first, I will show you on how you can set up your Anaconda Navigator. So basically, uh, if you wish to set up your own uh, platform, so you need to uh, set up the environmental virtual environment uh, for every setting. So in this particular case, I have uh, set up my environment uh, for run this coding, the calibration coding, uh, and I name it as a BEH41902. So I just uh, select the environment. So I will show you later on on how you can set up your own environment. So once you select the environment, so you will have uh, this display in which uh, this is the associate application uh, with respect to this environment. So basically you can create your own environment by go to the uh, left tab and then select environment and then create new one. So uh, you just give the name of your environment and then select uh, which Python version that you want to use. And then later on, uh, everything will be set up for you. So but for this case, so let's assume that you have uh, set up everything. And then later on, uh, I will use the spider. Spider is one of the IDE that is almost the same with MATLAB in which you have the uh, command prompt. Uh, you have the, you can execute the, the, the programming file, the .py file directly. So, but uh, before that, uh, I will show you on how you will set up the backbone while waiting the the spider loading. So, uh, you need to open the Anaconda prom. So, based on the Anaconda prom, uh, you can set up uh, most of the backbone that is important to ensure that you can uh, execute the camera calibration coding. So basically, uh, to ensure that you're able to run the code correctly, you need to set up your uh, virtual environment uh, by using this setting in which uh, you need to use the Python 3.6 and then uh, install the library dependency. So in this case, the library dependency will be the NumPy, OpenCV, globe and yaml so basically this is the interface of your uh, spider so we will go in detail shortly but before that i will show you on how you can set up uh, your environment backbone to ensure that you can run the opencv code so uh to make the things easy you can install everything by using the anaconda prom so uh first thing first you need to make sure that uh, you enter the virtual environment uh, you need to enter the virtual environment uh, platform so how you can enter that thing uh, first you can just type activate and then the name of your environment so in this case my environment is BEH 419902 uh, so in this case uh, BEH 41902 so once you enter the environment, so the name of the environment will be in the left side of your command prompt. So if you wish to see all the environment that you have created, you can just type conda env list. So all the uh, environment that you have set up previously, so in this case I have the base, a BEH, the LW with Python, capsule and etc. 
So uh, I just pick up the second environment, which is BEH41902, which is uh, I can enter the environment by just typing activate BEH41902. So basically, once you are inside of the environment, you can simply easily type all this command so that uh, you can install the dependency uh, straight away. So for instance, uh, for the NumPy, I just can just type conda install numpy. Uh, numpy so press enter so just make sure you have the active internet connection when you do the installation so sometimes you need to wait a while uh, in order for the installer find the package download the package and then install that thing for you Okay, so basically since I have installed the uh, NumPy inside of this uh, environment, so uh, this is my status, but the status might be different if you set up the thing from scratch. So the same thing with the second command, let's say uh, for the OpenCV, you can simply install the OpenCV by typing pip install OpenCV-Python. Okay. So uh, this is the way that you can set up. So you need to make sure that you install everything uh, by using this uh, command. Uh, so once everything was actually installed, you can straight away go to your uh, spider environment. So uh, for this particular case, for the spider environment, the left side is uh, is the portion of area that you can uh, do the coding. Uh, you can save the coding and then you can execute the coding by using uh, this button. So uh, if you just want to try uh, just single command, single or multiple command, uh, you can type it in this uh, console area. So this is more the same, uh, something like the command uh, area, command from area. You can just type uh, whatever single command here and then it will execute uh, directly for you. So uh, in the top right part so this is uh, the the workspace which is you can see the variable explorer the plot or the file that uh, associate with your current directory so in this case uh, I have uh, saved my file in the desktop so basically uh, my file is in the desktop so this is uh, the, the image that we use uh, for calibration and then this is the code. I think the code is the same here. This is the, the representation of the calibrate.py inside of the spider environment. So what we can do is that uh, you can simply just uh, press this run button. So and then it will uh, execute code in which it will automatically uh, find the the corner so this is the original image uh, so this is the corner detection and then uh, this is the this is a part of the result after we perform the after we perform the calibration process, we can use the parameters of the intrinsic parameters and also the distortion coefficient uh, to ensure that we can understand the image. So this is the, the, the final image after we crop uh, the undistorted region. So basically, uh, this is the image before and after. So this is the original image. So this is the, the resultant image after we perform the undistortion process. So, uh, so let's say uh, I just go through all the image that has been uh, calibrated. So this is uh, almost the same image. Uh, this is the same image, which is uh, just before and after. Okay, then just go through all the image inside of the library. So basically, uh, in this part in the left side, let's say uh, if you wish to see, let's say just uh, some part of the uh, the variable uh, in the command here so you can actually just type here let's say uh, I just want to know what is inside the mtx I just type here mtx 
so it will give you so this is actually the intrinsic parameters so in this case uh, for dist dist is the distortion parameters so everything uh, that you wish to see uh, in your coding you can type in this part and then it will be appear okay so basically uh, when you want to train with your own image so there is some part that you need to know so the first one is the you need to know how many corner uh, inside of your image so in this case is 86 so how I determine 86 it will be based on your if you use different type of the uh, checkerboard image or chessboard image basically uh, the setting will be different so in this case uh, we have one two three four five six seven eight so eight in the x direction and one two three four five six six in the y direction so that's the reason that uh, i put it six here which is uh, the based on the setting of your checkerboard based on the image of your checkerboard so uh, the next part you can do is that uh, you can change in terms of this part which is uh, this is the window size the kernel size that will be used uh, to find the the corner detection so let me say this is the one that will be slided through the image to find the the corner uh, so i think that's it uh, that you can change the setting when you want to uh, set up with your own image so basically once uh, you your undistortion parameter is not really satisfied you can uh, tuning this part or you can tuning the the criteria part until you get uh, the image that is quite uh, satisfied with your requirement so i think that's all thank you very much